Is there such a thing as perfect hand placement when you're dribbling the basketball? Coach Jesse Minchu with Get Handled Basketball, where I show you how to play at the pros. Today, I'm gonna answer that question. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you can catch the newest videos the second they come out. They're all gonna help you get better. And if there's any other part of your game you're looking to improve, search my channel, check out my other videos. Really good chance I already got a video on it, but if I don't, leave me a comment, let me know. I'll try to get you one. So let's talk perfect hand placement. Now you might think that the way your hand is on the basketball is just like a minor detail. It doesn't really matter. It's like one of the most important things that can instantly improve your handles. I've seen it thousands and thousands of times with players I've worked with, and I know it can make a big difference with your handles too, if you're paying attention to the right details. So let's talk about some of those details. First of all, when you're dribbling the basketball, you really want to pay attention to one big thing. I'm going to talk about the palm touching the basketball or not a little bit later, because I know that's probably one of the biggest questions you all have, and I always get asked. But the thing you want to pay attention to before that is how your hands are on the basketball as far as your fingertips. Now I've heard a lot of people say that you should control the basketball with your fingertips, which would be this. That's not what we want to do. Fingertips is not going to get you good control. You want it to be the final joint of each finger. So right there, 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 and there, all on the basketball. You want to make sure they're nice and wide too. So an example would be I could have those same parts on the basketball, but if I don't have them really wide, I'm not going to get very good control over the basketball, right? If you think about it, the, the narrower your fingers are, you're basically amounting it to controlling the basketball with one finger. You're not going to get very good control that way, right? So you want to make sure you widen that base out as much as you can so now you have better control over the basketball. It's like, think about palming a basketball. I tell my players all the time, when you're dribbling, try to palm the basketball. Now legally, you can't actually palm the basketball every time you dribble, that is not legal. But if you can get the type of control on the basketball like that, it's gonna make everything you do much more effective, sharp, quick, and efficient. Because every time you have the basketball come in your hand, boom, you have instant control, and now you can direct it exactly where you want it to go. And on top of that, you can do that quicker because you have that instant control. So get your fingers wide, and again, use the finger ends, the last pad on each finger to control the basketball, not the tips. Do me a solid and hit that like button if that last tip helped you out. Next tip, we want to talk about the palm. Should the palm be touching the basketball? That's a really good question. And to answer it, I went through both my personal experience, plus I dug through a ton of NBA footage. I watched guys like Kyrie Irving, Stephen Curry, some of the legend ball handlers like Allen Iverson, Tim Hardaway, Isaiah Thomas, the old school one, and I would watch what they did with their handle. Leave me a comment. Who do you think has the best handles ever? And what I noticed is no one does it exactly the same. They all have the one thing in common that I talked about last, which is they typically are going to have their hands wide on the basketball and get the ends of their fingers controlling the basketball. But I did notice that big no-no that everyone says you should never do, which is have your palm touch the basketball. Guess what? One of the best ball handlers in the game right now, Kyrie Irving, does that a lot. He does it when he shoots and he does it when he dribbles. And I'm here to tell you, I do it myself a lot. and I think I got a pretty decent handle. That's for you to decide, but Kyrie Irving, I think we can all agree, has, even if you're not a fan, he's got a good handle, right? So, I don't care, personally, I always tell my players, if your palm touches the basketball, I really don't care. Go with what's more comfortable for you, though.
if it does hit your palm, don't like look at it as, oh man, I messed up and you give up on the play, right? You could still have great control over the basketball, but for some players, gripping it without the palm touching the basketball is gonna feel more comfortable. And for others, gripping it with the palm more on the basketball is gonna be more comfortable. Whatever works for you, go with that. But the one thing I did notice is the wider you get your fingers, like in the last tip I talked about, your palm is typically gonna make a little bit of contact with the basketball just because of the way it flattens out your hand positioning. If you'll notice, if I have my fingers wide, boom, everything's a lot more flat. So there's a better chance that my palm will touch the basketball. So it almost shows you that your palm being on contact with the basketball might actually be a good thing. Versus if I have it more like this and my palm's not as wide now, yeah, now my palm's not touching the basketball, but I probably don't have as good of grip over it. So I would say personally, get those fingers as wide as you can and don't worry about the palm whatsoever. Next, we're gonna talk about how you can take these concepts next level. So how can we take this next level with our handles? Well, first of all, we can talk about times we wouldn't want our fingers in contact with the basketball. And we can also go more in depth in things as far as the position our hand is, right? As far as what direction it's facing. Well, guess what? You're in luck. I've got a full video that goes really in depth with that on YouTube. You just click this link right here. That'll take you to that video. It'll go really in depth on all those details about times you would want the palm to touch the basketball which direction your hands should be facing and a ton more. It's gonna help you a ton, I'm sure of it. And if you wanna take this next level, click the top link in the description, that's a free workout. Click that like button, the subscribe button, and that bell icon to catch the newest video, and I'll see you in the next video.